All right, everyone, VJ in the house again. Another review, I think some of you wanted to see this one. This is a vintage Magic Castle deck. I didn't even know it existed up until a couple of weeks ago when I saw it, and I bought it. I think it was on rubylane.com. rubylane.com, etsy.com, they have a lot of cool vintage decks. I just got some more on there, again, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, the front of the box just has a bunch of pips on it in gold. There's spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds, and a face of a king. Uh, you may have seen the same box in another review I did from another deck, which was... Um, I forget, but it was another oldie. <laughs> on one side it says, clean cards. The other side, hearts as you weigh, which is playing cards in French, for those of you who don't speak. The top actually has all four pips, hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds, and one more under the seal, I'm sure, but can't tell what it is. The bottom says it's the International Playing Card Company Limited, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, which is, was the Canadian arm of the USPC once upon a time. The back, they actually stuck a card on there, so as you can see the back design, and, and they didn't even stick it on very straight, they just kind of slapped it on, it looks like, and maybe it's sifted or whatever. And then you got, is a standard USB-C seal, nothing on the flap, just some gold. A couple more pips on here. And uh, this card, it looks like, I don't know who slapped it on, but it was definitely slapped on after the fact, because you can see the seal underneath it. Might have been done in production, or might have just been done after the fact. And, oh yeah, the box is bending a little bit too much here. As you can see, it looks just like Magic Castle decks that you might be familiar with. The older ones from like Paulson and Cardamundi. Everything you see is standard, standard number cards and USB-C code cards. And standard USB-C Joker, bicycle Joker, I should say. You get a standard bicycle ace of spades. It says International Playing Card Company Limited. Went to Ontario, Canada. Printed in Canada, which is pretty interesting because I never knew they really printed any decks in Canada. I thought they were just, you know, sipped to us from Cincinnati, but I guess maybe they did. The other joker, again, standard, except it's got stars in the corner. And that's basically that. Whoop. The back. Of course, has the Magic Castle on it. It's a mirror image. So it looks the same both ways. And it says Magic Castle on it. And it's pretty cool. Probably not that practical for Magic, though, because it says Magic Castle. And it's a little bit off centered. Uh, nice to see some things don't change in the USB-C. <laughs> They're still off centered, as apparently they were back then. Again, these are probably from the 70s, I'm not entirely sure. This is the first time I've seen. That USB-C actually did Magic Castle decks way before. They, more recently, they printed a new version of the Magic Castle deck and also a 50th anniversary edition of Magic Castle. Uh, a, a 50th anniversary Magic Castle deck of cards in red and blue. But before that, it was always Card of Moon Day and Paulson playing cards that printed whoops the magic castle deck and they look just like this so i never knew i had no idea that uspc actually printed magic castle decks before but obviously they did obviously it's a bicycle stock and whatever uh, it does have a smooth thinness or a plastic coated thinness definitely smooth not embossed and as a result it's clumping a bit but that's okay, I didn't buy it for fanning and forcing, I bought it because it's pretty damn cool and I don't know anyone else that has one. <laughs> that's what I've got. I'll see you next time. Oh wait, before I go, your choices for next time. I decided I'm going to give all the other decks that didn't make it this week another chance before I go to the bottom of the pile. So tell me which deck you want me to review next. I think the ones that I didn't review were the Bicycle Prestige. Bicycle Favo, CMYK, and the Seep Set. And obviously, tomorrow I'll review two of these. And also, I may or may not be doing a Halloween themed top 10. 
want to, but I just don't know if I have the patience to do it. Especially since I'm trying to rest my ankle, or actually my foot, because I injured my Achilles tendon earlier this week at work. Anyway, we'll see. If not, well, maybe another day this week. Anyways, that's what I got. I'll see you next time.